All right, guys, here we go. It's time for Supergirl. Ooh. And uh, let's just let's just get straight into it with the uh, with the Prez's recap. So Supergirl season two, um, the first titled The Adventures of Supergirl. Um, I think it's a lot stronger than the previous season already. I guess being a part of the CW universe is going to help it. Um, Kara, she's struggling with her identity. She feels that she knows who she is as Supergirl, but as Kara, a whole bunch of things are going on in her life. Kat has decided that Kara needs to decide what job she wants to do, so this episode kind of explores that. Um, her relationship with James and whether they want to continue that or not. Um, and we get to meet Superman finally. I personally think he's a bit derpy looking. He's no Dean Kane Superman. All right, yeah, good points there, salient points. Let's get into talking about some of the some of the more hot topic things that came out of this, I guess. <laughs> uh, first of all, first of all, Superman, not a derpy looking motherfucker. No. And. I'm going to say something that is actually going to hurt a little bit because we, we all know my stance on this. Yeah, he's the best Clark Kent we've ever had. Yeah. He, um, in parts, he was mirroring, uh, what's his name, 78 Superman Reeve. Clark Kent. Reeve. Chris Reeve. So I'm like Chris Reeves. Um... Yeah, I felt that. I, I actually felt like this was, I guess, a direct continuation of that universe in some parts. Mm. Just the way they talked about different experiences and things that have happened. We know it can't be, though, because they're not. Like that. Um, so what they, they mentioned, um, what was it, Lex Luthor in the big earthquake? Lex Luthor is, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm absolutely certain Lex is responsible for um, the Kryptonian that was in the pod. Because there's the comic book storyline where Superboy is a clone, like is Superman oh. and Lex's DNA chucked together. The whole point of this episode was that Lex is clearly trying to kill his fucking cousin. The series has Superman in it now. It's Lex. See, so yeah, I, I have That's a, another a small theory. Um, I mean, it very well may not come true, but in the comics at the moment, in Rebirth. There are two Supermen. Okay. Uh, first one died, and the other one came from another universe. So, I mean, I guess these there are holes in that, obviously, because these two don't even look the same. Yeah. Uh, um, but maybe. Well, that's what I mean by that. But he still looks enough like Clark. Like everything's still there for you to look at that and go, "Could that be Superman?" Which makes me think yeah. it's the clone of the the splice clone. Because mm. yeah. why do you mention Lex? Like you don't mention Lex that much. you mention him once in passing. <laughs> if he doesn't matter, like that dude did, where he's like, "We're going back to Gotham." That's he. That's a mention. But when you go Four Lexi, times. Lexi, Lexi, Lex, let's bring in Lex's. Like let's bring in a Luthor so we can do a swerve where they're not the bad guy because swerve again. He's the fucking bad guy because it's Lex Luthor. Yeah. Yeah. And. I don't think DC are going to have a problem with letting Luthor go on the TV because, hey, Jesse Eisenberg already ruined him in the fucking films. Yep. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I like <him> <laughs> I'm Jesse Eisenberg. <laughs> Hello, my friends. <laughs> <laughs> They're ready to come in. That's a good thing. Do you not want to mess with pick a fight with you? <laughs> <laughs> there was only one thing that I didn't like about Superman. And he was very small. I yeah. felt that he was too small, like even sure. But aside from that, I can't hold him. He's right. taller than Manhunter, though. He's hey. he's taller than Manhunter. Was he? Yeah, I'm pretty I mean, sure he, he was. was really tall than Tara. Yeah, he was. She's also wearing, when she's Supergirl, she does wear lip. Like, she's got boots to have a clear... And she also still looks up at him. So does he. Oh, yeah, of course he does, but... Yeah, she still has to look up at him. Mm. He's got a... He's no, minimum no, no, six. He's six foot. I just felt like he was really little. But by comparison, let me ask you a question. 
Barry Allen and like um, Ollie, they don't look huge. But then you see them against guys who are legitimately big, and you're like, "Whoa, those guys are fucking massive." Yeah, Grant Gustin's yeah. like six three or some shit. Yeah, he's taller than me. Oh, yeah. He doesn't look it on TV. I thought he was like I'm like I oh, five eleven or some shit. So he could be a legit. He could be six foot, but he just looks small because all the other fuckers in this universe are like nineteen feet. <laughs> they got a basketball team playing these fuckers. Uh, you put him next to Jimmy. <laughs> you mean the guy, the man who's going to become guardian because he, he you know, he wants to get out there and spend more time in the field with Tara because they're paying that actor and we're not paying him just to be a photographer because that's boring for Jimmy. So let's make him guardian instead because um, you know reasons, I guess. He, he'll have a cool helmet that, that'll make him cool. We'll make it look exactly like Diggles. Maybe maybe people will get confused. I mean, it's the same actor. Hell, look, cool, Jay. Yeah, me. <laughs> I don't really understand the, um, I guess the, not really an argument, but the, the disagreement between uh, Martian Manhunter and Superman. He's like, you're keeping Kryptonite here. Um, he wouldn't give a fuck if Batman was doing it. Because Batman keeps it in a bat cave that no motherfucker can break into. The DEO has a front door that nobody apparently knew about till this episode. Yeah. And it's not like it's below something, it's like a street level. It's yeah. Like, they just got kryptonite. The fucking they just have it sitting there. Batman is like kryptonite in a fucking bunker underneath. Like, he literally, you need to go subterranean to find his kryptonite. Yeah. So I think that's more where it comes from. Plus, also, it's a plot device. It's a plot device because I guarantee that piece of kryptonite comes back later in this season to bite them in the ass and gets used on Kara. Hey. I would never let that get used against Kara. I'm going to put this book in this safe. Mm. Yep. Glad <laughs> that's safe. Yep. <laughs> So, like, that's not important at all. That was a Swamp Thing reference. Oh, shit. Sorry. <laughs> yes, that was a Swamp Thing reference. Classic Matt. Classic Matt right there. <laughs> Keeping it real and fucking it up. It's not even a Friday. Uh, Alright. Uh, yeah, like, this, this episode... Like, I like the whole storyline with, with Kat pushing car. I like the fact there was a bit of humour in this episode, even though, like, um, even though nothing was really happening, it was just fun to watch. Yeah. Like, I really like the interactions with Superman and Kara, where even though she's younger than he is, it's clear that on Krypton she was the older one because he defaults this kid, like, like okay, nature, like, where they're talking to the kids and Superman's like, hi, kids. He's like, I'm, I used to change his diapers. Is it necessary to tell them that? Yes, it is. Okay, then. <laughs> okay. Um, and like, even the wink that, wink that he gives to the kids oh, and stuff. He, that The way he interacts with the crowd, that is Superman. Yeah. And what I like about... The, what I really liked about this episode, and what I took away from it, from this actor's performance, is every other person who's played Superman has had two distinct personalities. You have Clark, and you have Superman. Mm-hmm. It's one or the other. Ninety percent of the time, you have Superman because Clark is Clark, the bumbling Clark is the cover. But when he's talking with Lois and all that shit, it's always just Superman. This actor is giving you three distinct personalities. You have Clark, who is the way like bumbling and falling out of elevators, and even then he's just doing it because he's naturally a klutz. Because that one was wasn't an accident. Uh, it was an accident. <laughs> I mean, um, you've got Superman, who is in the public domain and talking to people and winking at them and interacting and like. You're not going any further than here because I'm super bad. And then if you've got <laughs> Kal-El who's like, you're keeping kryptonite inside. Because all three of them have different cadences, but that you're keeping kryptonite here, John. That's Kal-El. Yeah. And that's what I really like. I'm like, this dude has literally broken this character into three personalities. That's awesome. Yeah. Yeah. So that, oh my God, credit where credit's due, he's the first one to actually nail that. And I like, and I like the way that he told Kara, you know, it is hard to balance being Superman as well as Clark yep. Kent. You know, you never yep. really saw that, except for uh, Superman three. Yeah, 
you know, when he went back to um, Kansas City and, you know. Exactly. No, but, you're exactly right. But, but, he's ne- but he's never actually said that before. Yeah. <laughs> so that's what I like. Yeah, the other thing that was interesting too was that Superman's like, yeah, I'm going to stay here instead of going back to Metropolis and I'm calling shenanigans <laughs> right there. Lois ain't letting that happen. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> You've been gone for like 24 hours. She's jumping off a building or out of a fucking out of plane. <laughs> She's fucking going to an ISIS camp. Something yeah. is happening. Full of them. Like, painting full. herself black and going into GCPD. She's doing something stupid is what I'm saying. Yeah. She's, oh, yeah. a bit, she's a bigger class than Clark. Ah, <laughs> oh, Lois. Um, I, I, I really did like the character development in this episode. Mm-hmm. Um, across the board, I actually thought it was, as you said, it was entertaining to watch. Not that huge amounts of action happened, mm-hmm. but it was actually enjoyable to watch. I, I didn't didn't feel let down. Well, it set the tone for what to come for this yeah. season as opposed to just needing to like throw action at you. And yeah. it feels like everything had a purpose and was leading towards something. Yeah. Well, I know uh, I know. I can speak for both uh, Preview and myself. We were both fans of uh, Cat Grant's infatuation <laughs> with Clark Kent and Clark just being like, for fuck's sake, bitch. Hello, Cat. Yes. yes. Okay. Yes, I'm still with Lois. Uh, Please. Fuck, yes. yes. We are happily uh, yeah, together. Yeah, great. Stop. Yeah, mate. Okay. <laughs> that was great. She was sloppy. She was sloppy. Frothing like a Jennifer Lawrence pajama. <laughs> no comment there. Yeah, so uh <laughs> Yeah, super I think Supergirl are onto a good formula so far for this yeah. season. I like the see the CGI didn't look shit with Manhunter where he's flying around as Manhunter then morphs back into John Jones and just little things like that. I even like. even uh Car and um Clark or Superman flying off. Yep. Yep. Uh could I could have used a little bit more of um Janie Briggs. Uh, not gonna lie. Um, uh, oh, Janie Briggs. Yeah, I think I think we're gonna get some. I think we're gonna get some Janie Briggs uh, storyline edge this this season. And oh, I did like at the end with uh, Metallo. I'm looking. Yeah. I'm looking forward to that. Do you have a theory on this whole uh, situation? Don't you? Metallo on the bigger picture. Yes, yes. Um, Setting up segues like that. No, yeah. Uh, I, I honestly believe uh, that we are, between all the um, Arrow, Flash and Supergirl. And Legends. Uh, and Legends of Tomorrow. I reckon we're heading towards uh, Legion of Doom or the Sinister Squad. A Legion of Doom would make yeah. sense because you get Lex if you, if you do bring in Lex too. Sorry, yeah. sorry, Brian. I was just saying, yeah, I want to see that. That would be cool. The um, I honestly, the Legion of Doom is um, was it Ultraman and Owlman yeah. and all that, isn't it? And Mirror yeah. Man and um, Black Mantis. And there, there's there's a whole string of like well, I'll get into it when we recap the others, um, but they're. They're clearly because they've said that Flash is the center point of what's happening, and there are certain things that are happening in Flash that are, and then they're they're uh, dropping names in the other TV series, um, like in Metallo and Supergirl. Um, it, it really, honestly, feels like Legions of Doom. Oh, the, sorry, the Legion of Doom. You might be onto something. But yeah, like as I said, we'll, we'll get into it. When we recap the others, but it just it feels like because they they're constantly name dropping big uh, DC villain art characters. Yeah. Is anybody really at uh, any final thoughts on this one before we we hand out the awards? No, it's a lot of fun to watch. Yeah. But yeah. I like seeing. All right. Well, let's do it then. Who is getting your Barbara for this one? Barbara, what's that? Good. Goods, fucking just. I've had a long week, alright, man. Alright, you you don't you ain't seen the shit I've seen this week, okay, son? <laughs> you ain't been where I've been. You ain't lived the life I lived, alright? Until you walked a day in my shoes, okay? You don't get the right to come in here and be cranced and barbarous and shit like that. But yeah, thank you very much. It's a Guggenheim award, Braden. I appreciate that. Who's your Guggenheim going to? I mean, I guess you mentioned Jesse Eisenberg in there, so maybe him. 
<laughs> Actually, yeah, I'm jumping on. I'm like, I'm like jumping on that one. I'm like jumping on that one. Give Jesse Eisenberg any chance to give that fucking sack of shit at uh, Guggenheim. He gets one. So Eisenberg gets me yeah. Guggenheim. Probes. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm really struggling to think of one, so I think I'll have to late jump on to uh, Mr. Auschwitz himself. Well, Com- it's Comic-Con. I mean, can you blame him? It's like, it's it's like genocide. Like, it's Comic-Con like and genocide. genocide. I mean, they're so close. peas in a pod. It's so close, man. They both, they both smell like burning flesh. Wayne? I think mine would probably be the... Um, now you guys will laugh at me. Would be the uh, heat vision. You know, it was blue. For me, it was blue. Yeah? Was the heat vision blue? Yeah, bluey white. Yeah, yeah I, I couldn't, I just couldn't get past that part. Because you, heat vision for me has always been red. You do realise that... Uh, oh my God, he had that the on, most... Hang, hang, oh, fucking hang on, hang on, hang on, I'll let you finish. Yeah. <laughs> I'm really happy for you, I'll let you finish. <laughs> okay. He, the, the heat vision in the movies, the Superman movies, mm. was a symbolism for the... People at home that could see something is coming from his eyes and heating something up. Yeah. So the red is a symbolism, not actually the color of the heat vision. So you can throw. So you're, you're saying it's like a laser, and that in real life lasers are clear, but in the movies they're always a perfect red beam. Yeah. Or I mean, if you, if you light. So you say you light a, a, a Bunsen burner or something like that, and you've got the blue flame down the bottom and the red flame at the top. The blue flame is the hottest part. Yeah. I think he just used science on you. Yeah, I know, but I'm still... I don't really too much. Yeah, me, but... I think you just... still like I still like my heat red. So I know that is, that is heat red. That's just me. I'm old school. You mean stupid. I, no, still, I, just, I still like my heat red. Yes, I still like my... I like to see... If it is supposed to be heat vision, it's, hey, it hey, should what, be red. Hey, Wayne, are you off your meds or something? Fucking hurt, I am. So what you're saying is you want you want your heat vision to basically be like one of those spirit level guys that you put in the center of the room and turn it on and it goes whoosh. Yeah. And put the, you're like, you, you, if you come into my house and I'm doing that, you'll be like, fucking Jesus, Superman's here. So like in the in the movies, they like sometimes a certain chemical will burn. And you have like a blue flame. You don't you don't understand that that's blue. He gets pissed off by that, that. That's hot. You don't understand that's hot because it looks blue, so it must be but cold every time, flame. Every time I notice blue, it's always ice. It's always cool. Don't worry. It's true. Look at Mister Freeze. He's not walking around in a red suit, is he? <laughs> you got you got a point there, Matt. You know what? I think we're doing it for the first time ever, Braden. I think we both need to step back. Matt, hit red alert. And I think oh, okay, you're Wayne and going on. It's Wayne versus Matt. Red versus blue. Gentlemen, debate time. Red versus blue. Which is better? Wayne is in the corner of red. Matt is in the corner of blue. Ladies and gentlemen at home. Go. <laughs> I don't even know. I don't even know where we're having a an argument over this because I don't like I could understand that. Her laser vision, whether it be white or blue, whatever the fuck colour it is, I don't actually know. It might be like the... the uh, whatever it is. Whatever it is. I know it's laser vision. It's a symbolism for, like... It's not supposed to be Christopher Reeves fucking just a thin red line coming out of the eyes and heating something up. So, I don't... I, I don't understand. Like, it, it doesn't need to be... 1978 Batman, uh, Superman. Well, it's not just ni- 1978, 2000, you know. Oh, Smallville, yeah? Yeah, and then you keep going, you know, and it's, you know, for me, I, like I'm old school, my comics, you know, Heat Vision was always red. Okay. I think I'm still living in... I'm not living in today's but you, times. But you, that is the most fucking honest comment he's ever made. No, 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 You are a fucking contradiction because you are Mr. Millennial yourself <laughs> on your fucking phone like 24-7. There is no way you can pull the bullshit not my generation shit because you are the most technically advanced black man I've ever seen. <laughs> Fuck off. That... That statement was bullshit. But I'm probably the only black man you know to get fucked. You're the only black man there is. We've already established this. 
<laughs> there is you and there is LL Junior. That is it. You know what? I, I think it's just that you're 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 biased against like the 1980s. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's where your your mind is. You are so biased in the 1980s that you're just like, you know what? I don't like anything to be different because in the 1980s they look like this. Yeah, we had the shit latex suits. He said yes as well. He said yes. What the fuck? <laughs> oh my god. Matt actually won one. Matt finally won one. Well. Got <laughs> out. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Cranston's? Anyone? Uh, Superman. Yeah, mine goes to the actor that plays. I don't know his name off the top of my head, but the it's actor. Superman. Superman. <laughs> Superman. Pop. Yeah, but yeah, all, all. Superman. Yeah, Superman, Kal-El, and. Sorry, who? Kal-El. No, before that. Superman. 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 Sh I, I understand it. Superman. Superman. Kal-El and Clark, because he nails all three characters. Mm -hmm. The only thing he doesn't nail is Cat. Oh! <laughs> Give him time. No. no he's not Jim. No. <laughs> well, Jim might actually make a business. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Damn it, Flash. <laughs> Braden? Yeah, I'm going to go with um, the visual effects department because... <laughs> they made white <laughs> eyelashes. <laughs> that, okay, I had, Wayne needs to just quickly go back and drop in his uh, his Guggenheim to the visual effects department. Oh, you did already. I did, I did. So literally, we're counteracting. You're counteracting against him. <laughs> Is it because the white laser beams were so good, Brayden? They no, they made you no, invest. It's, um, it's purely because it was, it was I mean, obviously, we know girls moved to the CW because of budget cuts, mm -hmm. and they were heavy budget cuts. And I don't feel that. Um, Visually, that wasn't affected. Um, no. There was no, no dropping quality. No. There was none. And that, I was pretty no impressed one. with that. There was none of that. That was, that, yeah. Speaking of none, i got something I'm getting off my chest right now. Is this it? this goes to Hungry Jacks. All right? <laughs> <laughs> Is your chest all right? No, in fact, you don't go for it, Matt. Go for it. Let me speak. Be quiet throughout my entire intro song. It's long, but fuck you. Enjoy it. Ah! Oh, my nipples, they hurt! They hurt when I twist them! I'm gonna dust it off. It's been a long time. Uh, Hungry Jacks! It's Halloween. And you're all like, hey, what if we bring out fucking Halloween oh. burger? And what if we bring out a Halloween burger? And then fucking... Phil McDumbflaps is all like, well, Halloween, it should probably be orange. And Steve McGoochgravy is all like, yeah, that's a good point, Phil. Well, how can we make it orange? What's orange? Duh, cheese. That's fucking brilliant. What if we made it cheese flavoured? Okay, that, that's how the conversation went. For all you people at home who look at this burger, now I'm going to tell you what it is. It's the Hungry Jack's cheese flavoured bun whopper, right? You look at this burger on the board and you go, that's how that conversation must have gone. What you missed was, here's, here's the next part of it, where Steve was like, oh, that's going to cost us a lot of money if we make the burgers taste like cheese. And Phil was all like, nah, mate, we just make them fucking orange and tell fuckers that they're cheese flavoured. No, we'll fucking buy it. Because you know what the Hungry Jack's cheese flavoured bun is not? Fucking cheese flavoured! <laughs> None! <laughs> Not a cheese bun, it's a cheese non! <laughs> fucking bullshit, mate! Now I'm fucking sick of this shit! I go there, you first of all, you took the fucking seeds off the cheeseburger, you had to put them back on, well now you're gonna have to put cheese flavouring into the goddamn buns, you sacks of shit! Coming into my fucking town, think you're fucking better than me with your cheeseburgers today and your fucking sprinkles on them, you goddamn buns! Don't taste like cheese! At least you put triple bacon on to make it taste like fucking bacon and barbecue sauce, but otherwise it's a fucking joke and you should be fucking ashamed of yourselves, you disgraceful fucking cunts. You fucking un Australian. Fuck you. So, yeah, don't buy the uh, Hungry Jack's cheese uh, flavoured Whopper. Wow. <sighs> so, actually, I'm going to go back. Uh, I'm going to get back and just give out. Uh, 
going to give Mike Guggenheim the Hungry Jacks and the cheese flavoured <laughs> Whopper. Isn't that just a Whopper with cheese? <laughs> no, that actually tastes like cheese. This thing didn't. Thumbs up, thumbs down. I'm going to go four thumbs up. Yeah, yeah, I, I too am going to go four thumbs up for the episode, but five thumbs down for the burger. <laughs> So this was the exact inversion of Gotham then, since Gotham got three down. I missed that. I said this was the, for you, this was the exact inversion of Gotham since you gave Gotham three down and given this three up. Oh, yeah. So the exact totally countermeasure of the other one. One is the antidote to the other. Oh, I'm going to go three up. Three up. I'm going to go three up. I'm, I'm sort of... I'm, you're not, you're not, okay, you're, hey, he's not, the, he's no, just no. not happy about those ice colours. No, no, I'm just... I'm really happy for you. I'll let you finish. If the laser vision was red, what would you give it? I'll still give it a three. Okay. Because I'm, st I'm still trying to get adjusted to this, to Supergirl, not Superman. No, like... It's, can, a, it's, he, an, it's another city that you got to... <sighs> you got to get yeah, into see that, it. That's the problem. He's given it, he's given it three because in all the things, traditionally, he's old school and everything he's watched at Superman and now it's Supergirl. So, like, you've got to make the adjustments. Like, one of them has a dick, one doesn't. It's a very, it's a very complex situation. No, it's, it's actually the city. I've got to get used to being a... You know what it is? You know what it is? Hey, hang, on, hang, on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. I'm happy for you. I'll let you finish. Here we go. You, you weren't saying to me... So what, you, what you're taking points of this for is because they were like different city, not metropolis. And despite the fact all the buildings look all the same in these bucket places, no matter where you go, you're going like, nah, mate, can't look. If you did, if you did put this in metropolis, fucking five stars and like no, five no, out of no, five no, best match ever, Tokyo Dome, yeah. like take it home. No, but I'll, I'll, I'll give you one better because it's from the eighties. He doesn't want to give. Women the same power as men, <laughs> so he's just like no, he hates the eighties. Fuck that! I can't have Supergirl be the same equality as Superman. Fuck you! Because she's not Did naked enough for Wayne. One? No, no. And see, yeah, and so yeah. I'm just start, I'm starting fresh. So I'm actually I'm actually just yeah. trying to get used to the whole. Right, okay, in that case, line. in that no. case, I'll give you that one. Yeah. I'll, I'll get okay. You need to get, get your Netflix on, son. She's on there. No, no you're probably. <laughs> yeah. Gavel. I'm trying to. All right. Uh, that brings us to the end of Supergirl for this week. I hope you all enjoyed it uh, in the exact opposite amount that I enjoyed my Hungry Jack's burger. Um, and we'll see you all in the next recap. Oh, okay. Does anybody need to break or anything yet? No. <laughs> on because the rain's coming down and it's hard to hear you. Yeah, no worries, man. Just don't flub. Mm. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you alright? What are you laughing at? Which part oh, of it? It's not pick, pick on Matt. Matt, it's pick on Wayne. Like. <laughs> Fucking phone, like just like I'm not, I'm not up to date with today's technology. <laughs> just like every time I see you, you got your phone in you. I mean, you, bought, you bought a fucking VR kit for fuck's sake. Actually, no, I didn't buy it. It was the wife you bought. I don't care. You're fucking using it. <laughs> that is true. You were like first day, first in line getting your iPhone. <laughs> Actually got it all. And then come in and be like, look at what my camera does. It's like it's the latest and greatest. Yeah. I hate fucking new stuff, eh? You know what? They're going to release a model of iPhone, right? That is going to just be... It's going to be the 80s. <laughs> it's and it's going to have funny. ridiculous 80s shit. <laughs> and he's going to buy the fuck out of it and just, like, lick the phone. Bro. Oh, no, <laughs> I love this fucking phone. I love it. Oh. It's going to be confused. It's going to be confused because it's going to be white and it's going to be saying, like, the hottest phone around. It'd be like... But it's why it must be cold. <laughs> yeah. I'm working with slats. You know what makes me laugh? Now, now that we've had the, the, the red and blue debate, here's something to think about. Why does Mr. Freeze fit his suit? He knows when he's like, when his suit isn't working, right? Why is it set to flick from blue lights to red lights when it stops working? 
Because he's heating up. <laughs> yeah, but... Mike, who do you think says, it's, it's very important that I let my cronies know that I'm dying. <laughs> No, so that I feel the freeze not coming. It's so that the audience can tell when he's heating up or cooling down. That's oh, actually true. Wayne would feel like he's dying, but he's still got lights in his suit. But he's still blue. Like, fucking like, bullshit. He can't be heating up. He's still blue. Oh my god. Wayne literally wants to live in the Joel Schumacher Batman universe. What the fuck? <laughs> oh, fuck Joel Schumacher. There's no... I don't know. He wanted blue and red lights. He was all over that shit. King Neon. I think what I think Wayne is Mr. White Christmas. All right. I'm all black Christmas. Yeah, you're the lump of coal that can you give to your kids with a big fat. Fuck it out. They deserve it. That's what I keep telling the judge. <laughs> <laughs> you mean the press? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, the press. <laughs> no, no. Norm- normally, what happens there is people have to step in. Be like, oh, right. can you just calm? Can you just calm? Like, uh, sound uh, your tea kettle. You get a little, little too excited. You, you just, just go. You let just go enjoy the experience as well. Yeah, like, like all you're doing is just ramming just, at home. Like. Just be there and like, you know, is, I set her on fire. Well, I, I say set her on fire. It's a blue flame. So I Who think knows? you know, she, I forgot to call it. I'll be like, it's a blue flame. They'll be like, well, how did you get burnt? Oxyacetylene. I mean, it, it, it's got to be cold because it's blue. He must, he'd be so confused if he got hypothermic. Because he'd be like, I don't get it. I can see the ice forming, but it's burning. This is fine. My skin's fucked. Why fuck you, I, defective have, skin. Why do I have blisters on? Like, I'm just cold. This is fuck shit. I was in the cold. And look at me. I want sunburn. What is this fucking bullshit? Wind? Fuck you. It's fucking, I mean, if there's so much sun I can get burned, how come the snow hasn't melted? <laughs> this is bullshit. Fuck you. <laughs> Fuck you, Antarctica, wherever the fuck Everest is. Just remember, white people are like happy lights. <laughs> I got him. I got him. <laughs> Which bit got you? <laughs> oh, fuck it up. <laughs> Matt, I didn't know you were a pig. <laughs> Is it Tibet, China? I don't know where the fuck it is. Yes. Where is it? It's not in the Antarctic. Oh. It's the Antarctic with the Himalayas are there. Is no, that what that means? Why is there so much snow in the Antarctic if there's no dry mountains? What the fuck? Oh, fuck. Is it the magnets that make everything cold? <laughs> is that what it is? Oh, fuck me, dude. Oh. <laughs> okay, Adrian, I think you just found her. Uh, I think you found her end tag there. <laughs> or an outtake at the very least. Hashtag Adam needs geography skills. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. Oh. <laughs> Nicholson's choker he needs to walk away and break your mirror Thank you.